Hi all, welcome to ESI Cloud Trainings. My name is Shalini Nerilla. Let's get started with Dell Boomi Atomsphere Basic Training Day 3 session. The agenda plan for today is we'll look into few conditional shapes, decision route business rules, branch shape. We'll then discuss about properties, which is a very important concept. We'll try to set dynamic document property, dynamic process property, and process property. We'll also persist a property value. We'll then see extensions concept, right? So let's get started. Now, in order to discuss about decision route business rules, I want to reuse this process in day two. So first I'll create my day three folder. I now want to reuse this process in day three. I want to copy this process from day two to day three. How am I going to do that? Right. So if you click on this shape here, you'll see something called copy. Right. If I say copy, this will open up for me. So you can copy within the same account or across different accounts that you are added to. Right. So because I want to copy within the account, I leave as it is. So if you click on different account, you can check this. This will be enabled for you. Copy passwords across all accounts copy component dependence and destination folder you can provide here. So I want to copy this to day three. So I will choose day three. So see here now I have the process copied here. Right. So now let me first execute this process. So this is executed. Now, if I click on the shape source data here, you'll see that this document has country equal to USA, right? And let me open my second document. And my country here is India. For the third document, country is Canada. So now we've got a requirement saying that only if country equal to USA, this path have to be executed. Else this path should not be executed. So in that case, what am I going to do? Right? So now, so only if country equal to USA, this path should get executed else it shouldn't get executed. So it is like a condition on a field value. In that case, I have something called decision. So I'll drag this decision shape. So decision shape routes documents based on true or, for, true or false comparison of two values, right? So I'll select the first value. So first value can be anything among these. It can be the current data, date, time, properties, profile elements, SQL statements, etc. So now because I want to have a comparison on the profile element, right? I'll select profile element and my data is XML data. I'll select the profile. Go to day three and account XML profile. So I have to select the field here. So that is nothing but country. Right? So now country comparison, you can see you are equal to not equal to greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to matches regular expression and matches wildcard. So now because I have to apply the condition if country equal to USA, I'll have comparison equal to and second value also can be anything among this. But here I'll give a static value. Static value USA. Right. So now let me also give a meaningful name to this. So country check so this is done true and false i'll just use this stop shape here right so this is done we'll now execute and see this so the decision shape logic is executed once for each document that reaches the shape 
so which means that say if you have a document like this say you have employees data employees and uh, employees is the tag and uh, you'll be having employee data set of employee data in that case you must split and send the data to the decision shape else it will only execute on the first uh, set right so now if you click on decision here and logs if you see here usa equal to usa which is true so the document has passed through this path and if i click on second document you'll be able to see that india compared against usa which is false so my document has gone to false path and the third check is also canada equal to usa so it has gone to false path so this is how the decision shape works so the true documents are processed to completion before the false document process right so so next you've got another requirement saying that only if country equal to usa this path have to get executed if country equal to india another path have to get executed and if none of them another path have to get executed so if you have a requirement of this then you have to choose route shape so let me use route so the route shape conditionally sends document through different execution paths based on the value of a specified field right so again here i'll be choosing route by the profile element xml profile day 3 account xml and element is country so this is done and now i have to define my route values here so route if it is again comparison you'll have equal to not equal to greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to matches regular expression and matches wild card right so now because i want to select again if it is equal to usa execute one path if it is equal to india then execute another path so see here so equal to usa equal to india so india let me put another requirement here say i want to send the file as it is to disk okay so now i'll copy the disk configuration here and i'll use a set property shape i'll send the file name as it is that is there in ftp so disk file name and it is coming from the ftp location so i'll choose document property ftp file name right so here i'll have to say set file name so this is done and if the value is none of these then just stop the document okay so this is my requirement we'll execute and see this so now if you click on route shape here and see the logs you'll see that if usa equals usa it is equal so then this shape this uh, path got executed if i click on second document india first it compares with usa and then it compares india equals india so it's in a sequential order and then goes if the path is matched the condition match then the path gets executed right and if it is none of them so it first compares canada equals usa canada equals india if none of them matches then it goes to default path so document stops so also remember one important thing that it is a case sensitive now say for example i said this as india now you will see that 
if I execute this process, 